Welcome to this video. Today we'll be looking at linear regression. Just the essentials, the bare basics that every student needs to know. We've got one particular set of data we're looking at today. Um, please be aware there is a second video, example number two, that you can consider as well. So let's have a look at what we've got in store for today. So the data we have here, the lifespan in years and the gestation period in days for 19 types of mammals are displayed in the table to the left. It says a least squared line that enables lifespan to be predicted from gestation period is fitted to this data. And our first task is to name the explanatory variable in the equation of this least squared line. So we haven't got any graph in front of us and the table doesn't necessarily give it away. But the information on the top right of this screen should be sufficient for us to be able to work out which one is the explanatory variable. So it says here that the least squared line will enable lifespan to be predicted from gestation period. So here's our general equation, y equals a plus bx, straight from VCAA. We know that y is the response variable and x is the explanatory variable. But in everyday terms, we know that y can be predicted from x, okay, or predicted by x. So that gives us enough information when they say that lifespan to be predicted from gestation period, we can work out the gestation period is the explanatory variable. Okay, task number two, determine the equation of least squared lines in terms of the variable lifespan and gestation period. And we're asked to put the information in the boxes below and around the numbers representing the intercept and slope, three significant figures. So look at this point, I might turn to my TI Inspire calculator. We have our data entered. Here we have in column A, lifespan on the TI Inspire. And column B, we have gestation period in days. So I'd like to now do a linear regression. Menu, statistics, stats calculation, and a linear regression. There's a few options. I want the A plus BX option. So I need to state that my X variable was gestation period and my Y was lifespan. Press OK. So it returns response here. We see that A, the Y intercept is 7.58 to two decimal places, and B, the gradient is 0 0.101 to three decimal places. Okay. Alternatively, we could decide that we wanted to do a graph as well. And we can on the side here have a lifespan. And down the bottom, we can have gestation period. Then we could choose menu, analyze, regression, y equals a plus bx. And there's our equation, y equals 7.58 plus 0.101x, where y is the lifespan in years and x is the gestation period in days. So we've discovered that lifespan in years is equal to 7.58 plus 0.101 times the gestation period in days. Number three, write the value of the correlation coefficient rounded to three decimal places. Now R is a correlation coefficient. Let's quickly go back to the TI Inspire. As can be seen from linear regression, the R value, the correlation coefficient is 0.903707 probably around it to 0 0.904. Okay, so we know now that R is 0 0.904 to three decimal places. Task number four is to describe the association between the two variables in terms of direction, form, and strength. Now, when you hear the terms direction, form, and strength, that should ring bells straight away, and you should be able to go back to your summary book, check out those three terms, and make the following statement. So we've got an R value of 0.904, we know graphically, looking at a value of 0.904, so it's positive, so it's going to give us a, there's, there's a positive value here, it's not negative, that's going to give us a positive association. 0.904 <clears throat> is way to the far right here. It's very close to one. It's a very strong positive linear association. So what we can do when we ask to describe, there is a strong linear positive association between lifespan in years and gestation period in days. Simply looking at our R value and finding it on our table. Number five, write the value of the coefficient of determination rounded to three decimal places. Now the coefficient of determination has a value r squared. We could literally take our r value from the previous question and square it, that would give us our r squared value. Or we can go back to our TI Inspire and look at the summary of data from a linear regression. Once again, the linear regression function of the TI Inspire gives us the coefficient of determination, the r squared. It's 0 0.816685. But rounded to three significant figures, it would be 0 
Okay, so we know the R squared value is 0 0.817. And now we're asked to interpret the coefficient of determination in terms of lifespan and gestation period. Again, when you see the terms interpret the coefficient of determination, this is going back to our summary book where we have a traditional response that we need to provide. So here's our summary of information. We know that R squared is 0.817. We know the response variable is lifespan. We know the explanatory variable is gestation period. And here from our summary book, we have a standard formatted response. So I'll read this, it says, we can conclude from this that, in brackets, R squared as a percentage, close brackets, of the variation in the open brackets, response variable, close brackets, can be explained by the variation in the open bracket explanatory variable, close brackets. That looks like a terrible math at the moment, but let's see how this works when we sub in our values. So we can conclude from this that 81.7%, that's taking our R squared value as a decimal that only goes between zero and one, multiply it by 100 to convert it to a percentage, 81.7%. Of the variation in the response variable was lifespan. So we substitute the term lifespan. Can be explained by the variation in the Explanatory variable was the gestation period. So I've substituted in one, two, three terms. So our statement is, interpreting this coefficient of determination, we can conclude from this that 81.7% of the variation in the lifespan can be explained by the variation in the gestation period. Simple. Task number seven, we're asked to interpret the slope of the least squared line in terms of lifespan and gestation period. So here's our equation and the slope of course is this value that's multiplied to the explanatory variable. So let's have a look. We have again a standard formula, if you like a recipe that we're gonna fill the gaps in. So this one says on average for every extra in brackets explanatory unit, close brackets, of open brackets explanatory variable, close brackets, the open bracket response variable, close bracket, either increases or decreases by the gradient response units. Quite a mouthful, but let's fill the values in and this looks very simple. So on average for every extra day is the explanatory unit of gestation period, the explanatory variable, the lifespan response variable increases. Now because this is a plus, a positive in front of the gradient, we use the term increase. If it was a negative or a minus in front of the gradient, that means it would decrease, pretty straightforward. By the gradient is 0.101 years for the response unit. So again, interpreting this slope of 0.101, we would write on average for every extra day of gestation period, the lifespan increases by 0.101 years. Very simple and straightforward. Let's have a look at task number eight. Interpret the y-intercept of the least squared line in terms of lifespan and gestation period. This again is if you like a recipe answer. Here's our equation. And we have again, similar kind of response with gaps that we need to fill in. So let's just fill these in. A, gestation period for the explanatory variable of zero explanatory units, days, has an expected lifespan for the response variable of the y-intercept here of 7.58 and the response unit years. So a gestation period of zero days has a lifespan of 7.58 years very straightforward. We could of course add a little bit of extra description so this makes more of a common sense sentence. So let's try that. A mammal with a gestation period of zero days has an expected lifespan of 7.58 years. This is a nonsensical interpretation. As a mammal with a gestation period of zero days is very very unlikely to give birth to a mammal that will have a life expectancy of 7.58 years. It's fine at the end of an interpretation like this to make a statement such as this is a nonsensical interpretation. And this sometimes happens when you're using a linear regression line to make predictions. One particular pair of data points from the data table stated that a mammal of gestation period of 63 days has a lifespan of 28 years. And we're asked to calculate the residual for this set of data to two decimal places. So step number one, we want to calculate the predicted life expectancy for a gestation period of 63 days. Now this is using the equation that we've already worked out. So lifespan in years is equal to 7.58 plus 0.101 times gestation period in days. So let's sub in our 63 days, multiply that by 0.101 and add 7.58. And we see the predicted lifespan for a mammal with a gestation period of 63 days is 13.94 years. That's our first bit. Number two, we want to calculate the residual for this particular 63 gestation period day. 
So the residual is the actual value y value, take away the predicted y value. So the actual was for 28 years. Okay. And the predicted that we calculated was 13.94. So this point, if we were to graph it, is way above what the line predicts. So it's going to have a positive residual. And the difference of that is 14.06. Let's now have a look at that using the TI Inspire calculator. So earlier we generated our linear regression graph. If we use the menu option, analyze, we can add in a residual. And then we're after the show residual plot. We can now see both the lifespan versus gestation XY scatter plot and the corresponding residual plot. This point up here is where we have a gestation period of 63 days and a life of 28 years. That corresponds to this particular residual point. Again, here we can see a gestation period of 63 days and it's generating a residual of 14.03 years, meaning there is 14.03 years from the predicted value on the line up to the actual point at 63 days. You might have recognized that residual value 14.03 is slightly different to that calculated using the regression line earlier. I think it gave a value of 14.06. Uh, this is because the regression line we used was rounded to three significant figures. However, the TI Inspire calculator would have unlimited decimal places for a more precise finding. Thank you for watching this video. As always, if you enjoyed this and found it worthwhile, could you please like, share and comment? And I'd love you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. As always, thanks for watching.